Hi everyone, today in this video we are going to talk about 7 short courses that you can pursue in order to get high paying part time jobs here in Australia as an international student or as a working professional as well. So without any further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Barista Coffee Course Now if you are a coffee lover, not just drinking but also making, this course is for you. When you take up this course, they teach you how to prepare espressos and other kind of coffees using commercial coffee machines. Machines. They also teach you the whole understanding of coffee making and different kinds of coffees that you sell here in Australia and how to prepare them as well. This is a 6-7 to seven hour course which means it can be completed in a day but it would be in a face to face setting because this would be a group training wherein they also teach you the practical skills and not just theoretical skills. Once you finish this course you usually get participation certificate and the cost for this course would be anywhere in between 100 to 150 dollars based on the city that you are living in now utilizing this course you can work in any of those restaurants cafes or any of those uh, corporate shared workspaces wherein a cafe is available as a coffee maker or as a barista using a commercial coffee machines usually barristers get about uh, 25 dollars to 28 dollars per hour so it's really good paying and the timings are also really comfortable because usually they start at about 7 a.m. or 7.30 a.m. and finish by 3 p.m. So that's the most comfortable timings that when you can work. Number 2 RSA. RSA is nothing but responsible serving of alcohol. Here in Australia if you are someone wherein you are serving alcohol or if you are working in an environment that is serving an alcohol, RSA is really important. For example if you are looking to become a bartender or if you are looking to work in a pub wherein alcohol is being served, having an RSA certificate will always give you an edge over someone who doesn't have it. These courses again are are conducted face to face or can be done via online using zoom as well so basically in these courses what they teach you is because i'm from victoria i can talk only about victorian laws so they are going to talk to you about victorian liquor laws and what should be served to whom should be served and how should that be served and all of these things will be taught to you while you are pursuing this course. This is again a one day course which is about 6 to 7 hours and it would cost you anywhere in between $50 to $100 based upon the city that you are living in. One of the best jobs that you can go ahead and pursue after having this certificate is being a bartender and as far as I know if you are a bartender and you're really good at your skills you get paid about $38 to $45 um, or you will be getting paid about $25 to $30 depending upon whether you are a casual employee or a part-time employee. If you are a casual employee and you are doing bartending in certain events then you get paid much more um, because you would have your casual loading. Number three food safety handler. If you are someone who is working in a venue or a location wherein food needs to be handled such as maybe a catering area or wherein food is being served having a food safety handler certificate is really crucial this food handling course usually teaches about hygiene practices safety practices what's the best way wherein the food can be handled and also this is one of the best skills wherein food safety supervisors chefs cooks and food assistants can have. The cost of this course would be anywhere between $50 to $100 again based upon the city that you are living in and once you have the certificate, the kind of jobs that you can go ahead and look for having this certificate is food supervisor, food serving assistant, catering assistant, so on and so forth. Number four, first aid course. Now having this first aid course is basically understanding how to ensure and provide emergency and emergency first aid for all all of those people who are suffering from illness or any other injuries at that point in time. The first aid course usually helps people in learning the fundamental skills and knowledge that is required in providing um, emergency first aid or a help during certain injuries or any sort of illness for that point in time before the actual support comes in. This is again a face to face training. You will have a lot of institutes offering here in Melbourne and Victoria and also other states. This is a again a six to seven hour course again that costs about 100 to 150 dollars per head and per 
one day of training if you have the certificate you will be pretty much um really great with professions like child care workers social workers and so on and so forth and the kind of pay that you get is also great however you can also add cpr certification along with first aid that would be an additional 75 dollars but it would give you a lot of weightage than the other people who are applying for certain kind of jobs number five traffic controllers if you have come to melbourne and you've seen people holding start and stop board uh, controlling the traffic those are someone who are called as traffic controllers and this is again a face-to-face -face training um, wherein you will have people teaching about how to control the traffic and when should you control the traffic under what circumstances this course ensures that the students have or understand traffic management management planning and they're also able to control the traffic based on the signs that they are being given you will also get to learn how to use traffic and safety equipment and how to set up that equipment as well the cost for this course anywhere ranges between 150 dollars to 200 dollars and the amount that you get um, by being a traffic controller is really lucrative um, I, i've known a lot of people who have been earning about 35 dollars to 45 dollars an hour um, when they're doing huge projects but again it's an on-site job so there's no work from home that's possible so if you are leaving that sort of comfort behind and you are willing to work on site this is one of the lucrative jobs that i know number six is having a white card now if you are someone who is really interested in working in the construction industry this is something that um the employees in the construction industry hold that's called white card um it is important for you to understand the hazards um that that prevail in the construction area that you work in and the knowledge and um or the skills that you require in order to use certain equipment and what should you do and what should you not do and all of this is basically taught in this course the cost of this course would be anywhere in between $130 to $150 again based upon the city that you are living in the money that um, the people in the construction industry earn is definitely lucrative however um, I must admit that this is one of the most hard-working jobs that people go ahead and do number seven cert two and secure operations now if you are someone who have been to these huge events you will be seeing people um, working as a security controlling the crowd and all of that so they are someone who has done the certification they teach you how to be a security guard in a control room um, who will understand the operations who can control the crowd and all of that uh, having this kind of certification will let you work in casinos hotels um, huge events where crowd controlling is required and the amount of um, the amount of pay that you get is really great however this course is slightly a tad bit longer than all of the above courses that i've mentioned it's about 18 to 20 days of training and it costs about thousand to fifteen hundred dollars but the amount that you going to earn uh, will go away with just one gig I believe so these are the seven courses that you can do in order to get high paying part-time jobs um, I hope you like this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up do like comment share and subscribe I'll see you next week until then bye